Welcome guys to episode 522 of Minecraft and I'm using the Coral Reef mod. I have found myself a nice little beach over here next to a jungle biome and uh, over here we have a great big ocean filled with coral reefs. Alright and uh, well one thing that uh, this mod or the vanilla Minecraft um, ocean doesn't do justice to the underworld is the actual lighting. So uh, we're going to switch over to the Optifine clear lighting. So what we're going to go is uh, options video settings quality and also clear water on and uh, this mod um, with Optifine uh, makes it just excel a little bit better. Now here is a nice little coral patch. Now there are six different coral plants and uh, two blocks basically there's a dry coral block and there's a coral block and uh, you can see them over here a sea coral block and a dry coral block um, a sea coral block is like um, sort of like a um, planted or where plants can actually grow so it's sort of like a hoed block basically and here is a dry coral block now no plant can actually grow on the dry coral block it's actually um, considered to be a dead sea coral block now as you can see all all the coral plants emit sort of bubbles and that. that's a pretty cool uh, animation basically and uh, they the, the six plants sort of give off a sort of different um, attributes such as the green and purple plants they actually create a current if you get too close to them I'm not doing anything but they suck you in and uh, you sort of sucked in getting whirlwinded around in the current and uh, you can see and uh, this blue plant actually emits the light so that's why it glows and uh, I do believe it's night time now so you can see all these patches of nice coral outlaid in your ocean and uh, they only spawn in oceans they don't spawn in rivers and uh, you can see nicely here that uh, all the blue blocks emit they're sort of like they have the same properties as glowstone and you can just see the different types of colors of coral they just give a nicer aesthetic look they don't really do anything other than a bit bubbles you can also collect the corals all you need to do is uh, submerge yourself under and uh, it takes quite a while not that quite of a while I got sucked into by the purple one and uh, there we there you go now if we arise back if we don't lose too much air bubbles and uh, we go try and plant it on the sand or on the dirt it actually doesn't plant it actually needs to be on a sea coral so you can see I have all these six different species of coral plants in my inventory and uh, we're gonna place uh, the coral the sea coral down and uh, you can see that it instantly um, works if it's underwater and uh, that's sort of just the binding bindings of the mod it has to be underwater and uh, you can see that the all the abilities such as the purple one already sucks you in like a current and uh, I wish as they sort of had some sort of other purposes now I rate this mod an 8 out of 10 fruit loops I really like this mod it's a very nice aesthetically pleasing mod it actually gives something nice to the actual sea life in Minecraft it's kind of down just having only squids as one one animal or one mob in Minecraft in the sea that doesn't really do much justice but it's nice to see some plants and plantations growing in the actual thing and uh, having a nice little light emitted and uh, also um, you, you really need to use Optifine with this mod it doesn't conflict with anything Optifine but uh, oh, here's a nice example of the actual blue emitting light so I they sort of have these random light patches and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool and like I was saying before you really need Optifine in collaboration with this mod so you can actually have the clear water because Minecraft's water is really dark and it won't do full justice to this mod. So uh, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and uh, have a nice day.